Okay, um, now let's say we want to create some interactive scenes. So let's say when I click on a button, I want to start a director. So My animation will be just a normal, let's say, a spinning gear, and this would be my button. <coughs> okay, so let's add the script. So we will need to have a on button down, on left button down. And, uh, okay, the easiest one is stage, find director, default, start animation. If the name of the director is called default. So you have to turn on the E. So the E is always responsible for the events in there. So now when I click on the button, it starts the animation. So simply one line of code. Then, I, let's say I have to check if the animation is already running. So if stage find director default is animation running, then of course, I know most of the uh, <laughs> functions now by heart. So if you want to know what can I do with a director, go back to the script reference, select the director. OK, I can access the child directors. I can access the name. And there is a function called is animation running. And there is also the start animation. If I compile my script now, I can hit. Nah. <laughs> of course, if the animation is not running, then I have to start it. Okay. So and. With this script, normally you can handle 90% of all interactive scenes because mostly it's just one button and launch a director and that's it. So you might be able to now create the own user interface, for example, what, which director should I, uh, sh do I want to talk to, what do I want to do, uh, start the animation, reverse the animation, continue the animation, stop the animation. And with uh, this easy example, you can handle most of the scripts of, of interactive scenes. Okay. Um,